Mr. Moto. Ah, Taya, good morning. Yugi's upstairs getting ready. I'll call him for you. Would you like something to drink? Uh, no thanks. We're already late. Yugi, Taya's here. I'll be right there, Grandpa. This new chain ought to keep my Millennium Puzzle safe. Seems like everyone wants their hands on it lately. And we're going to need it now more than ever. We are? Wh what do you mean by that? The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi. And I sense fate has more in store for us. <sighs> well, we're in this together, no matter what. Good. I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. Well, I'll help you figure it out. About time, Yugi. Sorry, Taya. We're gonna be late for the big game. What took you so long? I... Uh... I was talking to the spirit of the Millennium Puzzle. He seems kind of worried. About what? About the future, I think. He said something about our destiny being unclear. Ever since we defeated Pegasus together, the spirit's been talking about fate. Like there's something more he has to do. When you think about it, he doesn't really know that much about himself. Like where he came from, why he's here. But I'm babbling and we're late. Huh? We should go. All oh, right, the soccer game. We definitely don't want to miss it. See you, Bye, Mr. Moto. Grandpa. We'll see you later. Enjoy yourselves, you two. If the game ends early, feel free to come back and help me sweep. So, who do you think's gonna win? Win? Win what? Earth to Yugi, the soccer game at school. Oh, I don't know. Uh... You don't really care much about sports, do you? Futures huh? told. Fates unfold. Step up, boy, and I'll reveal the secrets of your future. Yugi? Huh? Can you really see into the future? Yes. What are you <laughs> doing, Yugi? Taya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the puzzle. Hmm, okay, but we really don't have that much time. Hmm, boy, in order to tell your future, I must hold a personal item. Really? Your necklace will do nicely. My what? No, I'm sorry, I can't. Then I can't tell your fortune. Yeah, but... I need it in order to properly read your aura to see what fate has in store for you. You do want to know, don't you? Your fate? Okay, but only for a second. Hmm. Yugi, I don't know about this. Hmm. Something's coming to me. I see that this Millennium item now belongs to me! My Millennium Puzzle! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Come back here! He's getting away, what do we do? I'll follow him this way, you try to cut him off around the corner! You got it, Yugi! You won't get away with this, you creep! I can't believe I handed him my puzzle! Huh? <gasps> Arrows? That thief wants me to follow him! <sighs> This must be a trap, but what choice do I have? I can't lose the spirit of the puzzle. I won't! There's no sign of that fortune teller anywhere! I hope Yugi's okay! Hey, Taya, what's the rush? Oh, Bakura! Someone stole Yugi's Millennium Puzzle! No! Where is Yuki? In the alley! We split up to catch the guy! Well then don't let me detain you. Keep looking and I'll get some help! Right! Thanks, Bakura! No one shall have the Millennium Puzzle but me. I want its power. And I'll track it down with my Millennium Ring! Show me the way. Trace the item's mystical energies. And lead me to the Millennium Puzzle. If I control all the Millennium items, I will control power unimaginable. And I will make certain that nobody stands in my way. Hmm. Which way, Ring? Ah, yes. Yugi and his Millennium Puzzle are very close. Very close. Sorry, Taya. But I can't have you and your sniveling friends interfering with my destiny. Where are you hiding? Whoever that guy was, he's leading me like a rat through a maze. But why would a thief want his victim to follow him? What's he really after? The last arrow. 
My Millennium Puzzle is here. Even though we're apart, I can sense it. But I don't see it. I know you're in here! <laughs> Congratulations, little Yugi. You found me. Or should I say, I found you. And the Millennium Puzzle. Give it back to me. It's not going to be that easy for you. If you want your puzzle back, you'll have to fight me for it. That's right, Yugi. You and I are going to duel. And the winner gets to keep your Millennium Item. Uh, a dueling arena? Are you up to the challenge, Yugi? I've been waiting for you a long time. <laughs> Who are you? And what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within. But according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say that I'm the one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of a Millennium Item. Indeed, I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it, of which you and even the spirit that inhabits it are unaware. That's why I will add it to my collection. I won't duel you for my Millennium Puzzle. It already belongs to me. It's in my possession now, little Yugi. All right, then I accept your challenge. Of course you do. If I have to duel, I'll need the spirit of the puzzle to help me. Maybe I can still connect with him. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond is weak. It's hard to maintain contact. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You'll have to fight him alone. Alone? But I've never fought a duel without you. And if I'm defeated, I'll lose you forever. You can defeat him. Just trust yourself and your deck and you'll find the way. You're right. I've got to believe in the heart of the cards. Be very careful, Yugi. I sense a great evil. Evil. Spirit! Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi, I have seen your future, foretold your fate, and this duel will be your last. I don't know anything about this duelist, and now I have to face him alone for the highest stakes ever. I don't even have the gang to back me up. Well, here goes. It's time to duel! I place the Celtic Guardian on the field in attack mode! I've made my play, now you make yours! I place my monster in defense mode! What's the matter? Don't you have the courage to face me head on? I don't need to. You're the one that better go on the offensive if you hope to win back your puzzle. All right then, I attack with my Celtic Guardian! <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted you to do, Yugi. Your attack has activated the power of my Cyber Jaw. This machine card destroys every monster on the field. <laughs> and it also requires us to draw five new cards. Let's see what you've got up your pathetic sleeve this time, little Yugi. Time for a new strategy. I'm placing my monster in defense mode! And I'm placing mine in attack mode! Meet Mechanical Chaser and Ground Attacker Bumrod! More machine cards? Wait, this seems familiar. There's only one player I know whose deck is filled with machine cards. Show yourself, Bandit Keith! I was right! But why would Bandit Keith disguise himself and steal my Millennium Puzzle? The last time I saw him was when he battled Joey in the Duelist Kingdom Tournament. He broke the rules, but Joey beat him. When Pegasus found out Keith was cheating, he ejected him from the island. We never saw him again. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become my mind-controlled slave. What do you mean? How can this be? Tell me! After Bandit Keith was ejected by Pegasus from Duelist Kingdom, he fought for his life against the harsh ocean waters. Help! 
My followers and I were on the way to retrieve some very special items when we fished him out of the sea. I'm always looking for new minds to control, and Bandit Keith seemed like the perfect puppet to do my bidding. And, as fate would have it, he led me right to you, the boy who possesses the legendary Millennium Puzzle. Is it all sinking in now, little Yuki? Now that I have found you after all these years, I will stop at nothing to make your puzzle and all of the ancient powers it possesses within it my own. Help me! You'll never free yourself, Keith! Let the duel continue! I play Machine King in attack mode! My new monster gets an extra 100 attack points for every machine that's on the field. That's 300 more points! Machine King, attack with Jet Punch! You may as well give up now! It's not over yet! I play another card in defense mode! Your defenses are useless against my mechanical army. Especially now that I'm adding this machine to my troop. Mega Sonic Eye! It adds another 100 attack points to Machine King, making him even more deadly! Machine King, attack now! No! My Stone Soldier! That's right. All your defenses are gone. Give up yet? You have no idea of the power you're up against, little Yugi. No matter who this guy is, I can't let him win! But how can I defeat him without the spirit? And my friends? Come on, guys, hurry! Yugi may be in trouble! Just point the way, Taya. We're right behind you. Yeah, any creep picks on our buddy has to deal with us all. You said it. All right, people. Just where do you think you're going? You volunteered to help at the soccer game. I know, coach, but we got an emergency. Uh... Taya's cat has gotten sick. We need to take it to the vet. Please, we need to help Fluffy. Poor Fluffy. <laughs> I didn't realize your little kitty was sick. Of course you can go. Hmm. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank, Thank you, coach. <laughs> Save that little kitty. He's really a softy at heart. It wasn't cool to mislead Coach Morty. It's an emergency. We had to, Taya. Yeah, Yugi needs us. I hope we can find him. Come on, Yugi. Stop stalling unless you want to admit defeat. I'll never give up. Foolish boy. He has no idea what he's up against. His Millennium Puzzle is as good as mine. I have too much at stake in this game. So take this! I play Curse of Dragon in attack mode. And I play Gaia, the Fierce Knight. But that's not all. I also use my polymerization card to combine these two monsters in order to create Gaia. The Dragon Champion! This monster can take your machines apart! Dragon Champion, attack Mechanical Chaser! With Double Dragon Lance! With Mechanical Chaser gone, your Machine King loses 100 attack points, and you lose 750 life points! Very impressive, but what will you do? When I put my weaker monsters in defense mode to protect them from your Dragon Champion's attacks. And then play Machine Conversion Factory, a magic card that adds 300 attack and defense points to all of my machine cards. Oh no! You've raised Machine King's power even more! That's right, enough to overpower your Dragon Champion! Machine King, attack! Your offensive is over, Yugi. Your champion destroyed. I've made Keith's machine monster's attack strength overwhelming. So why don't you stop resisting and just hand over your puzzle to me? It's the inevitable conclusion to our game anyway. What am I going to do? I have to stop him somehow. But how? He's assembled an army of the most rare and powerful machines in Duel Monsters. Wait, the Summoned Skull. This gives me an idea, but first, I'll have to play a magic card. Your machines might be the most impressive I've seen, but they're still made out of metal, so I play Makiyu! You think a little missile destroy my machines? 
It won't destroy them, but it will cause them to rust and lower their points. And the mist turns your machine monsters into one gigantic lightning rod, which makes them the perfect target for my summon skull. Summon Skull, use your lightning strike on Machine King now! Any more machines for the junk heap? You little... The boy is good. He plays much better than I had expected without the spirit of the puzzle to aid him. But he has no idea of the power he's up against. My deck is full of rare monsters, the likes of which he's never seen. And when I'm through with Yugi, his Millennium Puzzle will be mine! So, they went running down this alley? Uh-huh. Hmm, these arrows. Hey, you think Yugi tacked these things up here for us? I don't think he had the time, Joey. Hey, guys, look at that! Oh, no. How are we gonna find him? Now you're the one who's stalling. Are you gonna draw or what? I've picked the Graceful Charity card. By placing this card on the table, I'm able to draw three new cards from my deck. And I'm confident that they'll be exactly the cards I need to end this duel once and for all. <laughs> You're finished, little Yugi. I've drawn the ultra-rare Zero Ritual card. It's used to summon one of the most powerful monsters in the game. Whoa. I've never even heard of the Zero Ritual card before, but I've got a sneaking suspicion that I'm about to learn more about it than I really want to know. How perceptive. For once I put Zero Ritual into play, this duel is over. Maybe. But activating a Ritual card takes more than just talk. You also need to have the right monster card in your hand, and what are the odds of that? Oh, no way! Maybe you finally understand the power you are up against, Yugi. Now, Zero Ritual sacrifices my two remaining monsters in order to bring forth the greatest of my creatures. Behold the instrument of your destruction, one of the strongest beasts and dual monsters. Behold, Zero the Man! Our battle ends here. Say goodbye to your Millennium Puzzle. Zero, attack now! <sighs> Zero obliterated my summoned skull, but I can't give up. You'll never get my Millennium Puzzle! So, my Millennium Ring has led me here. The puzzle must be inside. Hmm. I also sense a dark presence from the Shadow Realm. Seizing control of the Millennium Puzzle might be more interesting than I thought. Yugi! Where are you? Yugi! Yugi! Say something, buddy! Where is he? <laughs> You're finished, little Yugi. With Bandit Keith under my mind control, you'll never win this duel. Help! Help! <sighs> Keith, your resistance is futile. It's time for me to end this duel and take what's mine. What do I do now? I have nothing to fight his monster with. If only I could call on the spirit and ask for his help. But we've lost contact. I think Yugi's finally figured out it's hopeless. He will fall against my superior monsters. And the Millennium Puzzle will be in my control. 